Hello and welcome back to Outpost Infinity Siege. One thing I forgot to do at the end of last time, we just got to quickly run to the intelligence centre here. And we've got some uh, missions we need to get handed in. Uh, not that. Dispatch. I think I've got a load of recruitment beacons as well at some point that I need to be doing. Um... trying to think actually did I so did I not set anyone on this not B uh, M base management ah yes I remember we had everyone in the barracks didn't we getting like the last few levels added to them I think everyone's level 30 now. Right. Yep, that's everyone. Okay. And in that case, I guess we can just... Um, I suppose what we'll want to do is make sure that everyone's got some decent gear. Like, some people still don't have boots, for example, here. Well, that said, what have we got? So, all these are burst boosts. So, I guess these down here are just three to go to whoever. But it looks like most people have at least blues. I think they're just literally missing... Okay, we've got everything here. We can upgrade... Uh, Freya is someone we were actually using at one point, wasn't she? Um, do we have a pair of, like, scan gloves going? Blue ones, yeah. If we ever need to use someone who's not, like... Who's done up but isn't wearing crazy good gear that we that would hate to lose, we can just use Freya here. And then everyone else... So yeah, it looks like we're just missing a load of boots on people, in terms of gear. Um... Oh, they're apparently the one person we've got deployed or something. Guess they'll get those. Um, right, I think everyone's equipped. And when this says idle, so they actually, because normally it says complete, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. Okay. So who the hell's deployed? Because there were two of them, weren't there? Ah, yes, yeah, so we've got one there, one there. Okay, so we had a few people in these. Right, let's get some people done. So, research centre. We've got anyone who's, yeah, Griffith here. He'll work in there. Anyone else? Bancroft. Yep, it's already maxed out. I mean, we can add more, but there's not much point. Right. I tell you what, I'll put a pause in here. I'll get all this sorted out. Make sure everyone's got all their skill points spent as well, because I don't think I've done that for a while. And I'll see you in a moment. Okay. I've done everyone's skill points. We're getting some new characters now. We've got... Does it even tell me their name here? It's been, been a while since I've hired someone on. Um... This guy. Oh, it says down there. Igor. Right. Got another one. And they are... Oh, they've got a blade. Uh, Teresa. Oh, that's a hell of a lot of skills there.
uh, Estelle. Is it Estelle or Estella? Whichever. Got them. First. Right. Ooh, pilot. Always a good one to see. Uh, tech boost. Uh, we're kind of past tech boost. Tech boost at this point. Right. Another missile one. Randall. And I think this is our last. The one with cooldown and like all the bullet skills. Like Fay. Uh, we've got Baldwin. Okay. Right. Um, I think that's it. Right. Um, but I guess um, we should probably here they are give them some gear. Um, we don't have many boots. Uh, do I want to give them the burst boots? Not really, but fine. Uh, just give them something. Okay. Right. Helmets. Um. You know, if I sorted all this, yeah, I might. Okay, yeah, we have really low on boots, apparently. Let's give them some blue helmets. If we've got them available. Yeah, I'd rather them not have, like, the plus four stuff at the very least. I mean, we can give away some of these, um... Oh, not the... Not the plus four stuff. Um, that's not a plus four. Um, that's just regular. Yep, okay, there we go. Um... Did we give anyone else, like, yeah, decent guns? Okay. Um... I don't think I don't go as far as like putting like crazy attachments on, but we can give them some decent weapons. Lovely. Um gloves. Oh, look at that. Rocket gloves. That'll be just fine. Um, sure, recovery gloves. Whatever. Um, mechanical claw there. And Baldwin here, you can have um, something that's not like plus four or whatever. Ah, there we go. Recovery gloves. Blue ones, right, that's fine. Vests. Looks like this computing arm at the bottom will be fine. We've got a few sets of that. Right. They're all kind of kitted out in some spare gear that we've got lying around. Got a decent bit of combat rating to them now. Um, munitions. Um, maximizer. Sure. Okay, that looks fine. Right. Oh, back and base management. Okay, so scientists. Griffith. Bancroft. Yeah, Greta's there. It's already maxed. Next. Barracks. 
Uh, Melbourne increases barracks efficiency. Oh, okay, yeah, he's he's ridiculous for this. That's how we do level four. And let me guess, with this guy, ooh, not quite level five. Therefore, intelligence center. Who have we got here? Oh, hello, Bertram. Still on level four. Um, Ryan has a few HR skills. Lydia, we were using her before. Yep, yeah, that's it maxed. Intel. Oh, here we go. Bertram here is apparently amazing at this. Already at level four. Rosalind. Yep. And... Layla looks pretty good. There we go. Max level. Trade port. We don't have many, like, traders, actually. We've got very few. Um, Freya, we've already got set up to be, like, a person we can use out in the field if we need someone. So we might not want to send her out. Quentin, maybe. Edwin here. We might have to use the though. Uh, huh, this Randall person here. And... Yeah, it might have to be fair. Yep, yeah, there we go. We've maxed it just. Right. It doesn't affect my research, oh, has it? No. Right. So. We're at the Intel Center. Now we can see who's available. Over here, minimum level one, mammoth squad. Yep, send Roderick there. This one, one person, level eight from Tiger. Yep, sent. Okay. Um, just has to be level one. Marisol, sure. And here, minimum level one. Okay, so we'll do it. Right. Jobs are good and Head to the barracks. So our roster's nice and organised again now. Drill ground, get everyone in. All the new recruits. I don't think we actually can. Why is Randall currently? Is he at the trade? Did I put him in the trade port? For God's sake. It doesn't tell you what this, what level they are, does it? You see, I thought I wanted a recruit because I've got 9,000 combat power, but I think he's just well equipped in terms of his gear. Right, so there we are. First. And Baldwin, and then we'll go with Teresa. And lastly, we won't be able to fit everyone in. Igor will have to wait his turn. Okay, that should be fine. And does this, like, maybe change what's at the trader since we've, like, not quite, but nearly maxed it out now? 
No, not really. We could hire more people, but I, I don't think we need them at this point. We've kind of got plenty. And it'd just eat up all my gear that I'm bringing back, which I want to sell for insurance points, really. Right. Two more it is. Our quest for nanoprocessors continues. I'm going to give up taking those, um, what do they call it, the um, key cards. I just can't be bothered. Having to drag them out and put them in every time, I, I just can't be bothered. Right, we'll grab some ammo. Anyway, as we know, I've got a key. An all-access key. It's called my gun. <laughs> with battering ram added on to it right I'm just going to keep hitting level 3 um we'll confirm right looks like the it looks like we're getting this new layout now for difficulty. I wonder if it's due to the patches that they've been putting out. Because it looks like we can actually go to every location now. Right. Which we're going to do. So. Town outskirts. Same deal as last time. We're going to quickly rush into each area. And just smash and grab what we can. Hopefully a few heroics. Usually this town outskirts actually has a few heroics. Unusually. What have we got then? Yeah, that's a lockup and that's a drone, right. And the trader guy isn't here this time, that's just ruins. Okay. And that's a lockup as well. There's probably a few heroics here then, isn't there? Ooh. There's not. Hmm. That's disappointing. If we get these... If we get these power cores, we don't even have to use anything to get into those. Mind you, we can always just blast the doors down. As we usually do. No, get off it. Get off it. Ah. Hey, I'll get shot down anyway. It's in front of the CIWS to it, so... It's going nowhere. Now, there should be two of those power... Power banks on it, but I'm only counting one. But I don't think it's always guaranteed... To drop them when you destroy it. I don't know if it's... Yeah, because sometimes it does only seem to drop the one. Right. Right. Got all of that. What have we got in here? Uh, I don't think we've... Yeah, I don't think we've got the other power car or anything, so... We've got plenty of items that we're going to have to send out on a drone. I'll be honest, I'm a bit disappointed with this. When I saw that we had two of those... Um, of these buildings, I was getting quite excited. I was thinking, ooh, we're actually going to be able to uh, grab a fair amount of stuff here and you know, get a lot of uh... Did it drop a power core at all? If it did, it's not around here.
Right. We'll just have to smash his way into the other one. Right. Okay, a couple of combat miners are out. Um, we've nearly got enough for the next one. I'm kind of hoping that gets both of these trees, but I don't think it'll be in range of that one. But we can hope. Right, but yeah, so far, just a load of stuff that I'm kind of going to have to uh, just extract out immediately. We can keep the, we can keep that, uh, the fuel there. Right. Let's grab what else we can. And we'll head out quick. Okay. So what do we have in here? Right. Honestly thinking about it, I probably shouldn't have even bothered using that power bank to begin with. Enemies don't spawn on this map, typically. So I could have probably done it, just opened it up with complete impunity. And then just use the power bank on the base, but oh well. Okay, we're going to need a bit of space here. I guess we'll just throw some of the other stuff in here with them. Um, I don't think there's anything else to loot here. No, there's not. Right. We're good then. Uh, send this out. This the point. Healing grenade launch. So what does this do exactly? If I click on it, launches a healing grenade that uh, at the target area that heals buildings and operatives over time. Do 
one, two. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, and we came in through. Well, we we've got the door open on this side, haven't we? So, oh, and I should definitely activate all these night hangers as well. There we go. That's two of them activated. Regular recovery. Right. And that's that. Um, these... Yep, they've harvested all the resources they can. Oh no, this one's still got a bit to go. I'm sure these miners are bigger than they were the other time I went on. I'm sure they've made these bigger. I don't know why, but I just tend to think that they have. Right. I'll collect a few ores in the meantime. Looks like that couldn't quite reach this tree, but it looks like it got the van on the other tree. Right. I'm just going to say that's good enough, and we're going to go. Right. Let's see what else we've got. More space in the container. Machine gun tower mounted to a core tower. Um, container space, I guess. So this one looks like it's not got that golden tinge to it. This one has. So this one's worth going to. Higher chance of finding heroics. That said, it's a higher chance, it's not a guaranteed chance. So, we'll see what, uh, we'll see what we can see. Um... Ah, it's this area. Yeah, this this tends to have some stuff in, doesn't it? Although... Yeah, the top floor looks more trash than last time. Last time this was locked. Is this even the same building that was here before? It's not. This is like a big house. Last time it was like an office building. It's a completely different building from last time. Right. Um. Okay, there's some stuff on the roof. So it's a time of 30 mil for three and a cabinet. Some legendaries, but again, we're not. I mean, I'll take them, and I'll, you know, since we're just kind of here, I'll grab them and throw them into the uh, into the drone to take it with me. But it's not quite exactly what we're here for, really. I can't reach. Oh well. Say no to explosives. 
and Xenium. Right, there's some above as well. Broken missile, that's actually pretty good. There's our big item. That's not even gettable, is it? Right. Warning. Thunderstorm outbreak. Watch out for lightning strikes. Uh, whatever, just grab. Right, we're full. Oh, there's a crate up here. Oh no, it's one of these. Okay. Each kind of enemy hitting their weak point gives building resources. That's actually really good. And that was the thing that made them notice me. <laughs> not, not the giant gunfire that blew up the, you know, that blew a hole in the side of the building to open a door with. No, no, no. Touching that computer did it. The missile can't actually. Ooh. Okay, that complicates things. That really complicates things. see now the problem is that what that means at least for us and by the way is there just like a bunch of resources back here that I should be harvesting it looks like there is right I'm assuming it can grab some of these vans but at the very least it'll get the trees Oh, we're getting that APC though, there. I bet these APCs can be harvested as well, right. So yeah, the issue that we're going to have here, because I want that missile, is rather rare. But it will mean, uh, because we... We can't fit it in a drone. It literally will not fit. We can stick it in the container and take it with us, but at the very end we'll have to remember to take it out uh, so that it doesn't get targeted for duplication with the other stuff. Um, other than that, the only thing left to do here is go to that other building. There is a... There are a couple of containers, but more importantly, there's one of these com things on the top that could well contain something very important. Oh well, it contains a free turret we looked actually, didn't we? Turret Nexus and com module. And everything else here is uh, kind of garbage, right? It's like weird aerial fight with them. Mech, please stop wasting every single round 
that you've got loaded into you, for the love of Christ. That's all it took. It's just they're freaking out about it. Right, okay. Um, I think that's it though. I mean, there's some stuff at that other building, but not very much. Um, I guess we can throw those in. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those buildings, right? It's, but there's key cards and some mods and things. I'm not all that fussed. Um. We'll do a regular recovery. Close the door. that did we start filling another one no right. we'll hold on to them for now Managed to get a few resources. Just keep on with our smash and grab that we're doing. We don't want gold, especially for percentage uh, gains on uh, enemies. So, new. No. We'll just take 3 MG. Uh, as we mentioned, this hasn't even got the little golden tinge on. It means it's almost definitely not going to have anything good. So, we're going to just instant loot. Turrets now have a chance to, call ex to cause explosions. Yeah. yeah. Turrets now have a chance to cause explosions. There we go. Right. Gas station. So we've been here before. We know this has highly likely got some good stuff. So manually search through. In and out. Grab the heroics. Grab some other stuff as well. Hopefully there's not a million side objectives like last time, but hey, oh well. Whatever. Um The area's crawling with ten boy hyos. Taking them out will reveal their supply stash. We're detecting a stash in that nearby crater. Try to avoid the harmful xenium if Watch you intend to retrieve it. Once they see you, they'll swarm you! Don't touch the ground. Look for something to stand on. Scan, we have... It looks like there's a, uh, come on, a, uh, what's it, a comm station in there, so, like, we can get a bonus or something. Uh, that's a contraption box, and other than that, now there's probably some heroics in the containers in there but it's not a guaranteed thing walk these forwards let them obliterate everything as they go
Right. Looks like this guy is going to go. Let's head over. Uh, we can finish this one off ourselves as well. Jumping through here, kind of. Right. Open sesame. Weapon HP for the tower. Hmm. <coughs> um, and a lot of rubbish, right? Okay. Not completely awful then. Okay. Don't accidentally blow you up and blow yourself up with a barrel. It would be rather humiliating. Right. Oh, graphics card. Um What would I drop for? Hmm. You know, I guess we could open up a box of ammo. Ditch part of the stacks that come out. Grab the graphics card. Uh, we don't have room for the scrap metal, unfortunately. Um. Hold this. And yeah, that's probably it. I think there was also a stash around here, wasn't there? Yeah, that cabinet. Is this open now? We've killed some people. Okay, so that's more purple stuff that we can grab. Right. Okay. Ah, 
and one and two and three and go we're gonna have to do the same thing with this 105 mil barrel as well as we're do doing with the broken missile we'll just have to hang on to it if we intend to actually utilize it um okay area scan there's I don't think there's going to be heroics in these. I really doubt it. Um, but I will go and activate this module thing up, uh, back here. The enemy has spotted you. Is ah, lovely. Enemies. Here we go. And... Next boost feel increased movement speed by 20%. Okay, good stuff. I stand corrected. We got an ion battery. Damn. Guess it pays to search. Maybe it's to do with this being like um what's it? One of the better areas on the map. It's like a big area, so maybe it's like guaranteed to have a few. And since they've not spawned in that main building, maybe they're just in some of the areas around. You know? Maybe that's it. otherwise how do you explain you know just the ion battery in the locker I mean it could just be complete random dumb luck on my part there's every chance that it is right <clears throat> non components can go in things that are less than epic can go in as well The 105 will just have to be moved later. <clears throat> but yeah, since... Well... Since opening that works. Sod it, let's try this. There it is. It might have just been dumb luck. You know, sometimes that's all it is. Oh, we've got this as well. Uh, five power, sod it. Um. Okay. We've got a bunch of fuel. So... Since we've got some fuel... There we go. Right. Roll. Nice and quick. Three stacks of materials from orange or higher quality. Very nice. A large recovery device will appear next to the base on recovery day. Ooh. But now we want this, obviously. This has a goal and tinge to it, so we'll head here. I'm going to call this an episode here, though. We're 50 minutes in. We've still got a ways to go, so... 
we'll call this an episode and next time we'll keep heading through and hopefully find some more stuff we've already got one heroic though it's more i'm really wanting to find nano processors i think it is just a case of it being a bit rarer of a drop than the other stuff i think like cruiser cannon barrels cataract cores nano processors uh, there's definitely within heroic items some are, some are definitely rarer than others so we'll just have to keep searching till we get it and when we do we can definitely start looking to get these risk incidents to duplicate it right i'll see you next time then where we'll try to find a few more i'll see you then